Jacqueline, what is your definition of service design? So I just happen to have it um, typed out because I've been including this in my workshops um, that I've been uh, doing at a couple conferences. So I'll show it first and then I'll, I'll read it. Wait, there you go. Okay. So, um, so the first, there, there's two sections, but they're both important. So I, service design is a holistic, participatory and cross-functional approach to improving end-to-end -end human experiences as delivered through digital, physical, virtual, or human touch points. So I know there's a lot of buzzwords in there, but I think the participatory, cross-functional, holistic, or critical, um, focusing on these end-to-end -end human experiences is important. Um, and the definition of end-to-end -end can vary based on what you're designing and who you're designing for. Uh, and then I think it's critical to think of the touch points um, as, you know, I think digital and physical, I think of often in the product space and virtual and human, I think of in the service space um, and in real life, we uh, Shopify has an IRL thing. Um, and then the critical, critical thing I really want folks to, to grasp is we talk a lot about business viability, technical feasibility and user or customer desirability. And we talk about those three a lot. But one thing that I've been talking about when I'm doing these workshops is the importance um, of looking at employee desirability and operational feasibility. So there are kind of five um, pillars, let's say, of how you would evaluate service design um, and evaluate um, your any ideas that you have against these. And so user and employee desirability, business viability, technical and operational feasibility. And so there you go. 